If you're having any issues with the videos that you're uploading online, ending up different levels of saturation and contrast to what you're seeing on your timeline, the issue is most likely the color space that you are working on in DaVinci Resolve. If you head over to the settings at the bottom right of your project, make sure that you're in color management. You should have your color science set to DaVinci YRGB and then your timeline color space set to DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate and your output color space set to Rec 709-A. The reason that we do this is is because DaVinci Wide Gamut gives us lots of space, lots of dynamic range to work with when we're on our color tab and we're editing everything in our node trees. And then when it outputs it to the final image that we're actually looking at on our screen, it's in Rec 709-A, which is the contrast and saturation settings that most platforms like YouTube use. This means that what you see on your screen when you're editing is what you will see on YouTube. You will see that I've got some error notices about, that's because I've overridden this timeline. If you update, your settings to this and then you go to your timeline it will not update existing timelines if you go to find your timeline in media pool and then right click on your timeline hover across to timeline settings make sure use project settings is unticked and go to color you will have the same settings available to you if i were to change this to rec 709 scene which is what you're almost likely on you'll see that my image becomes a lot darker and a lot more saturated when this gets uploaded to youtube it ends up putting it into rec 709-A, which is basically where the indifference comes from. So make sure that you jump across to your timeline settings for existing timelines, and again, set those settings to be exactly the same as I have here, and that will sort all issues with your exports being different to what you have on your timeline. See you soon. It starts right